Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. Five, 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 one. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. And I am back with a video review. And for this review, we're going to be taking a look at Dark Souls Remaster for the Nintendo Switch. Also available on the PS4, the Xbox One, and PC and Steam. But for this review, we're going to be looking at the Switch version. And, excuse me. And if you're interested in any any gameplay footage of me playing the Switch version of Dark Souls Remaster, I will have a link in the description. You can check the footage out, though. Um, my first time playing the Dark Souls series, honestly, was back when it was originally called Demon Souls, and it was brought over here by Sony. This was a couple years ago, though, and it was an interesting game, but also a very brutal and challenging type of a game. This was sort of an interesting new genre that they introduced or from Sauce introduced at the time. The idea of a game where it's not only memorizing where the enemies are, but the punishing difficulty that forces you to try a little bit harder or try to take a different approach than what you normally was though. Some people like that kind of approach, others didn't. Um, following the success of Demon Souls, we've gotten other entries such as the Dark Souls, which was published by Bandai Namco that produced the first, the second, and the third one as well. Along the line, FromSoft also introduced us to um, the Bloodborne series, which was also a favorite of mine too. I definitely like that one. That one had a little bit more of a Resident Evil 5. To Koei Techno di dipping, their fur dipping their toes into sort of the Dark Souls genre gameplay with basically no and I think N I O H apologize I'm saying the name correctly which to me out of all the Dark Souls like game I've played so far that one is my favorite one. So it's interesting to see that Bandai Namco return to not only bring Dark Souls re remaster the first Dark Souls game but also bring it over to the Nintendo Switch. Um, despite the fact that the Switch version did not get released around the same time the PS4 and Xbox One version did, it got delayed all the way over to October and all. And, well, despite the delay, though, um, having vested some time in, with the game, though, for about a couple weeks, I will say, um, it's definitely fun and enjoyable, but it comes down to certain preference, though, and depending on your perspective. So, why don't we get started with the pros and cons, and we'll start off with the first one and that is the gameplay though anybody who's played a dark souls game or dark souls like game games before knows what it is the gameplay is fun but it can be very challenging and very difficult and sometimes brutal depending on how you approach the game now some people may not like this type of gameplay and all that stuff as we saw with the recent reviews of dark siders 3 that's not everybody's down with the dark souls like gameplay I'm, I don't have a huge issue with it, but I have other issues with that game and all. But I definitely like the gameplay in this one. It is definitely challenging though. It does require some patience and requires taking some time with the game. And if you're, if this is your first time playing it and you, the Switch is your main console at all, I will say to those folks, be prepared to die a lot. This is the type of game that you will have to have patience though it's not going to be for everybody though so the gameplay is challenging but it is also enjoyable and fun and it's also great to get that satisf satisfaction when you finally take down a boss after numerous numerous tries next thing i want to talk about is um as far as the visuals in the game go at least according to what digital foundry and based on my time with it um the game runs pretty well though it runs at 1080p when dock 720p when undocked and runs at a um 30 frames per second and for the most part the game runs pretty well i didn't I haven't ran into any issues yet at least based on my time with the game where the game slowed down or anything like that um i may have to dig in deeper to see if there are areas though but for the most part the game runs very well at a at pretty much steady 30 frames per second and it's nice that we had nice that they bumped the resolution up to 1080p when um in dock though um it's obvious 720p when on docks but still good that it's 30 good good that it's a good 30 frames per second all around docked or undocked <laughs> And last but certainly not least, in terms of controllers though, um, the game plays very well regardless of which control scheme you go with, whether it's either the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller. 
Although I will say the Pro Controller is a must and will definitely go with that go with that control scheme if you can. I really did not have a problem playing this game using the Joy-Con grip with the Joy-Con controllers in it. Now some might go and some people ha don't like the small buttons on the um, on the um, <clears throat> excuse me on the Joy Cons though, but I really did not have any problems playing the game with the Joy Cons in any way though. So for me, it plays well regardless of whether you go with the Joy Cons or the Pro Controller. Although, honest from an honest opinion though, the Pro Controller is a must no matter what though. So, but whichever control scheme go with Joy Cons or Pro Controller, I thought the game played very well with either of those controllers. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a quick break and when we get back, we're gonna to get to part two, which is the con. So we'll take a little break and we will be right back. Okay, and we are back with part two of our video review of Dark Souls Remaster for the Nintendo Switch, again, also available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC and Steam. So now that I gave you the pros, um, we'll, why don't we get started with the cons? And I do want to point out before we get started with the cons that this, that a majority of the cons are based off of the Switch version. I don't know about the PS4 or Xbox One or PC. This is mainly based off of the Switch version. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, uh, coughing. Uh, so anyway, why don't we get started? We'll start off with the first one though, and that has to do with the visuals though. And while the game looks all the game looks all right in my opinion, basically on the Switch version though, it's pretty clear. And after you see a lot, especially when you see some of the graphics compar comparison video, it's pretty clear that the visuals in the game are more in line with the PS3 and the 360 version compared to the PS4, Xbox One, or PC or Steam though. Although there are some people that don't like the PS4 or Xbox One or PC version. Some people don't exactly are big fans of that. But again, that's down to your preference and taste. So if you're looking for a resolution boost or anything like that, um, expecting a graphical boost, you probably might be disappointed. This game is more... Like I said, this game's more in line with the PS3 and 360 version. It looks a little bit better than the PS3 and 360 version, but don't expect it to look anywhere near the levels of the PS4, Xbox One, or PC or C. Uh, the next thing I do want to talk about is the frame rate in the game. Now, I mentioned that the game runs at a 30 frames per second, and it's not that's not bad. I mean, it runs at a good 30 frames per second. However, it's not the 60 frames per second that the PS4, Xbox One, and PC version has though. So basically what you're getting is a version that runs well at 30 frames per second, but doesn't have that 60 frames per second. And it is a little bit unfortunate. It doesn't have, it's not running at 60 frames per second. I would have liked if the developers who worked on the Switch version, I believe it's the same ones who did the port of LA Noir and Starlink from the Nintendo Switch. I would have liked if they had the graphical option like they did in um, Fire Emblem Warriors or Null, N-O-I-H, or N-O-I-H, again, apologize if I'm saying the name incorrectly, where you had the option of having the game run at a solid 60 frames per second or at a lower frame rate or have a higher resolution but having it at a 30 frames per second. It would have been nice if they had that option, even if it's only available when the Switch is in console mode to be exact. So. Again, 30 frames per second isn't necessarily bad. It certainly runs well at 30 frames per second, but obviously it's not the 60 frames per second that the PS4, Xbox One, or the PC or Steam version has though. And last but certainly not least, and I think this is just weird how they did this for the Switch version. I don't know about Xbox or PS4, um, Xbox, or PC, or Steam, but it has to do with the A and B button, though. For some reason, somehow, um, B is to select items while A is to sort of go back and all that stuff. It's just weird how they have that all set up, though. Now, I mean, yes, you can customize the controls however you want to do that. I set it up where the Y button is to attack and everything like that, but it's just weird that um, B is basically to select an item while A is to go back 
where anybody who grew up playing in any of grew up in the N64, I mean the Nintendo NES or Super NES or you know back in the old days where it's basically A is to select something and B is to go back. So it's just weird how they had the controls set up for that one. It doesn't make the game unplayable and eventually you'll get used to it, but it's just an odd, odd situation with the A and B button as far as the Switch version goes. <laughs> Overall, though, I do enjoy Dark Souls Remastered, though. It's nice that they've ported the first version over to the Nintendo Switch, and I'm hoping the game does well enough that not only we get Dark Souls 2, but I would like to see them try to bring over Dark Souls 3, to be exact. Um, compared to the Dark... While I enjoy Dark Souls Remaster, I still feel that Koei Techno's No is still definitely the best Dark Souls-type game out there to be exact, but that doesn't mean I hate this game or anything like that. It is fun, it is challenging though, and it may not be for everyone, especially with the difficulty though, and it's definitely one that you should try try out if you've missed out on, missed out on it on the first time around. The big question is which version to get though, and the Switch version is going to have to come down to your preference. On one hand, you are getting you are getting a game that you can bring with you on on the go, play it at home or play it on the go to be exact, and runs at a good 30 frames per second and 1080p when docked, 720p um, undocked though. On the other hand, you're not getting the visual bells and whistles that the PS4, Xbox One, or PC version has, and you, it's certainly it's not going to run at 60 frames per second, unfortunately. So you kind of have to weigh in, if you're thinking about getting Dark Souls Remaster. you kind of have to weigh in which version you want to get, though. Um, I'm not disappointed with the Switch version. I think it runs fine, even, even at a 30 frames per second. But again, that's going to come down to one's preference or taste, though. So overall... I still enjoy the game. I think it's fun. I think it's worth taking a look at, especially if you're looking for a game that is challenging and all that. Um, again, keep in mind, one, um, the kind of challenge this, that Dark Souls Remaster offers is not going to be for everyone. And two, if you're planning to pick it up, you have to weigh in. Do you want to get a version that runs at 1080p docked, 720p undocked, but only runs at a... Um, Runs at a good th a gun runs at a 30 frames per second, but I could bring it to me on the go. Or do I want to get the uh, the definitive version like the PS4, Xbox One, or PC and Steam, which runs at 60 frames per second and basically have all the graphical bells and whistle? That's that really you have to weigh it in okay, on which version you want to get. I still prefer the Switch version. I still enjoy it, but again, that's my preference and uh, my take. <clears throat> okay, um, this concludes this video review of Dark Souls Remaster. And again, these are my opinion, but what are yours? What are your thoughts about the Switch version of Dark Souls Remaster, though? Do you think it is a very, <clears throat> do you think it's a challenging game? Do you think it's fun, though? Are you okay with the Switch version running at 1080p, 30 frames per second when docked, um, 720p at 30 frames per second undocked? Um, or would you rather prefer the PS4 or Xbox One or PC version where that runs at 60 frames per second, though? Um, do you think do you think Dark Souls Remastered on the Switch will sell well enough that per <clears throat> perhaps Bandai Namco will bring over Dark Souls 2 and perhaps maybe see if they could port over Dark Souls 3 to the Nintendo Switch? I mean, if Doom can come to the Nintendo Switch, if Wolfenstein can come to the Nintendo Switch, I... I do think there is a possibility they could bring over Darksiders 3. Um, do you think that will happen? Do you think that will not happen? Um, did you like my review? Did you not like my review? Um, do you have a difference of opinion? As always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And I hope you hit that like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I do. Also, Feel free to share this video if you want to, and feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal Me or Patreon. Links will be in the description of this video. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good evening then. Bye!